I want to talk a little bit about the substation configuration language. This is an XML-based language for configuring substations and substation devices. It's designed for the exchange of information between engineering tools. It includes descriptions of the application components, device models, uh, logical nodes, communication infrastructure, and the relationship of all of that with the power system. And this is a major innovation within 61850 that's uh, we think is going to have a really major economic impact in the overall substation automation world. This is uh, already fostering a, a wide range of tool development that um, will significantly change the way we develop substations in the future. All right, there's various pieces to an SCL file. Uh, it's all included in one grand schema. Uh, for those of you that are that are into the XML tool domain, um, there's as usual a header to the doc to each document. There's a substation section that describes the functional structure of the substation. This is not the communications model now. This is the actual functional structure. Um, defines the primary devices and electrical connections, and it associates initial logical nodes with the equipment. This piece of it would typically be um, built out during the substation design process, and it's essentially a text version of a, of a one-line diagram uh, within the XML file. The communication section defines the set of subnetworks, access points. The idea being here is that you can associate addresses with, with actual subnetworks and be able to figure out the, the physical connectivity um, and then it associates where the shows where the clients and servers fit within that infrastructure in terms of their defined access points. The IED section of the SEL file defines the communication servers and their access points. This is these access points have references back to the communication section so that you can link up with the actual physical infrastructure. The IED portion also defines the capabilities of each IED, logical devices and logical nodes within those IEDs, as well as all of the, the uh, initialization data for things like, con like configuration parameters and settings and that sort of thing for each IED. The data type templates section of the SCL file describes the full definitions of all logical nodes, data objects, and data types across all of the IEDs. So this gives the final build out of all the detail of all of the data objects and attributes within each IED. Now, while there's a single SCL schema for describing the SCL language, the various pieces of the SCL file can be populated in different ways. And this, this depends on um, the, the vision of the engineering process for laying out, designing, and configuring a substation. Uh, these next slides will show the relationship of the different file formats. They're basically basically all running off the same XML schema, but uh, with different pieces filled in as it goes through the design and configuration process. The IED capability description files, or ICD files, are delivered from the vendor to the utility along with their equipment to describe the capabilities of the device and all the, the configuration parameters, object models, and all that sort of thing. They're typically developed with an ICD editor. We supply one with our software for developing these files. And they're used to communicate the information to the system configuration tool. The system-specific description files, or SSD files, are typically created by a system specification tool, uh, and it's used to describe the overall substation specification to the system configuration tool. Basically, this is the description of the single line diagram of the substation and the required logical nodes to implement the functionality um, needed. The substation configuration description, or SCD file, is basically a combination of those two. It puts together the, the substation specification and the build out of all the IEDs. And within a system configuration tool, 
This generates a full substation configuration description. Uh, this basically contains all IEDs, communications, configuration, and the substation description. It ties the IEDs into both the communications infrastructure and the power system description. Uh, it's used then to uh, inform a number of tools, IED configuration tools, uh, typically uh, database tools and things in the substation and up in the control center uh, eventually. Uh, this basically is the description of the entire substation. The configured IED description files, or CID files, are basically generated by IED configuration tools from the substation configuration description. They basically will take out the information from the full substation description that's specific to the IED, uh, including all of the configuration parameters and addressing information, and put that in a smaller file which can be downloaded to the IED. In a lot of cases, these files um, won't be used. Instead, the IED configuration tool may, in fact, configure the devices uh, using proprietary formats. This, this last step isn't necessarily required, but um, eventually we think this is the way all devices will be done. Uh, it's it's much much cleaner to be able to use this, and it also for, also stands as a documentation for what's really there in the device.